Hi, I'm Mike Green with Optic Cyber Solutions, and today we'll be talking about the NIST Privacy Framework Implementation Steps. This is actually a follow-on series from our Framework Overview video, so if you haven't seen that webinar, I recommend that you take a look at that first um, to kind of get a baseline and kind of understand the framework. In this particular webinar, we'll be actually walking through, you know, the best steps on how to actually move forward and start implementing the framework. As a quick recap, the privacy framework has three primary components, core profile and tiers, with the core being a set of privacy protection outcomes and activities. Profiles uh, focus on um, either current activities or target state activities, depending on the type of profile that's developed for the organization. And then finally, tiers um, really focus on the sufficiency of the processes or resources to really meet the privacy risks as defined by the organization. And again, these will really be tailored by the, uh, the risk-based strategy of the organization. Here's a simplified approach to implementing the privacy framework, the, uh, the Ready, Set, Go model. As you can see here for the uh, Ready step, if you will, it's aligned to the two uh, functions from the core of the privacy framework. So identify and govern. And really the getting ready portion is really focused on, um, you know, the, the governance around your program, identifying, uh, you know, essentially how you're gonna private, manage privacy risk for the organization. Once you kind of have that understanding, you get into the, the next step or set where you kind of pull from that core, uh, develop the current profile, <clears throat> and then ultimately your target profile for what you want to achieve within your privacy organization. And then with that, you develop the, or as, as an outcome for that, you actually develop an action plan, and then that leads into the final step or go. We actually implement your um, action plan. We'll walk through each of these. Effective privacy risk management really starts for the organization, understanding uh, its business, business objectives, uh, mission objectives, risk tolerance, um, any legal environments, um, and really where they sit within the data ecosystem itself. You know, are they a, a data controller, data processor, as an example? And you really start with the identifying govern uh, functions as part of the, the core we talked about previously, and kind of reviewing those subcategories and categories to help develop the current and target state profiles. I mean, really just depending on where the organization sits and, and um, its relationship to its you know, supply chain, for an example, there may be multiple profiles that will be developed, really just depending on you know, the privacy values, um, risk tolerance, et cetera, and even as a result of a risk assessment, which really helped to solidify and begin to document the, the, current, the current state profiles, um, ultimately leading to the, the target profile. So organizations um, sort of move forward with identifying the uh, business and mission, mission objectives to really initiate the process of developing that current state profile to kind of move towards the target. Um, and really orient around, you know, uh, business drivers, regulatory requirements um, certainly will be a big one. Um, budget budget constraints, um, as an example, and kind of get that, that process moving to develop that current profile to kind of know where you want to target for your target profile. So once the organization has progressed from the ready stage, the next stage is the set stage. The real key component here is the uh, risk assessment that needs to be performed to really understand and identify uh, those areas that need to be addressed by the organization based on their target state profile. So it's really identifying the gaps, um, understanding you know, what, what those risks look like, and then sort of moving forward. <clears throat> Um, uh, the NIST framework doesn't prescribe any specific type of risk assessment. We have some examples here, 830, um, the PRAM um, as an example. But it's really, at this point, the key, the key piece is really understanding those risks, um, which will need to be addressed as you kind of move forward to building out that privacy program. Another key component of the set phase is the current state profile, really capturing the current processes um, and practices of the organization. And this will help you have um, help the organization understand where you know they currently are and you know how they can move forward to mitigate the risk that are identified as part of the risk assessment as they ultimately move towards the target state profile based on again you know the identification of the business drivers um, and any regulatory com um, components as part of that. And ultimately, we arrive at the go phase. And at this point, we're really implementing the action plan, uh, which will be developed as a result of the, you know, the delta between the current state profile and the target state profile. So at this point, we understand the, the gaps that need to be um, identified. And it's really just putting those practices into place, um, those target practices, if you will. Um, and it really just depends on the organization of what that action plan really looks like for implementation. It could be a phased approach. It could occur over multiple um, you know, uh, sessions or certain parts of an organization. Uh, but at this point, it's really just about identifying those gaps and really moving forward to close those.
we have a few resources that you may find helpful. We have first the Privacy Framework Profile Template, which is aligned to the NIST Privacy Framework. So you'll have your functions, categories, subcategories, um, et cetera, to be able to document both your current and target state, depending on where you are um, you know, within your life cycle. Uh, we also have the Risk Register Template. <clears throat> and here you'll be able to categorize and document any of your privacy risks. Um, we also have some resources from NIST. Um, the crosswalks, which really are, um, I guess, industry provided um, crosswalks between reg laws and regulations such as CCPA, CPRA, and GDPR. Um, so you may find th that helpful as well. And then also a couple of use cases here um, that NIST has provided and essentially walks through the ready, set, go steps that we have in this webinar. <clears throat> but there you have a couple more. Um, examples for you. So hopefully you found this helpful. Again, I'm Mike Green with Optic Cyber Solutions. Uh, thanks for watching.